Hey guys, welcome to SHOT Show 2019. I'm here with Mike from Desert Tech. Mike, thanks a lot for coming out today. My pleasure, Miles. My pleasure. Cool. So, Mike, you've got lots to tell us about what's new from Desert Tech with us here. Please, can you kick it off? Well, first off, we just, unlo uh, we just launched our new A2, our SRS A2, which is kind of a an upgrade of the A1 on a little steroids, but yet lightened up at the same at the same time. So with our A2, what we've done is we've been able to, by way of uh, removing some of the metal and some of our, re our manufacturing processes, lighten the actual chassis and the whole rifle by almost, uh, depending upon what caliber, anywhere from a pound, uh, pound point eight to almost 2.3 pounds. 2.3 pounds? Yeah. That's which it is. I mean, for a bullpup rifle and, and, you know, and being more competitive with some of the other rifles that are out there, the more traditional rifles, to be able to drop it almost two and a half or 2.3 pounds, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And you, someone was saying earlier that you're actually, it's actually a little bit more accurate after you lighten it up. It is. So what we, one of the things we did to lighten it up is uh, the barrel clamping mechanism that's inside the receiver, and I wish I had one here to show you guys, but uh, we removed some of that metal, and what it did is it allowed us to have a more consistent clamping on every aspect of that barrel instead of just one big clamping mechanism. Yeah, and I wish we had... Uh, We'll have an actual chassis at our booth uh, tomorrow, but yeah, what you don't see is the barrel clamping mechanism in here. There's four places where it clamps on, and so it gives a more consistent clamping to it, which actually ended up improving accuracy by almost 30%. Outstanding. Yeah, which is really nice. And then up here with the hand guard, you did something there. Can you tell us about it? We did as well. So um, I'll actually backtrack a bit. You can also see we milled out the upper receiver as well to lighten it up as well. We changed out the hand guard to a traditional M lock, which, as we all know, when it comes to the firearm world with rifles, M lock is pretty much standard. Uh, we also changed how the uh, hand guard actually attaches to the receiver. So now you don't need a special tool like you did with the A1. You basically remove the skins, eight uh, Torx screws, and boom, you can take out the, uh, the short covert M lock hand guard and put on one of the full length sizes, and you can actually, yep and you can attach all your M-Lock accessories to it. So yeah, pretty much it's tradable or swappable, I should say, which is really nice. Outstanding. All right, well, so what else is new? Uh, well, I'll, I'll add one more thing in regards to the, yeah. uh, the A2. Yeah. We actually redesigned the trigger entirely. Okay. So we've gone away from that curved trigger face to a flat face. Okay. And internally, we've changed the entire trigger to where it's actually not adjustable in terms of your creep anymore nor is it adjustable in terms of your length of pull. So we may, and we did that to make it more reliable. Yeah. But we have uh, still allowed the trigger to be adjustable in terms of poundage, from a pound and a half to seven pounds. And it is a crisp glass break. It's funny, we've had a lot of guys shooting it today, and they've gone, you know, your bullpup trigger in the past was great, but now this is in a huge improvement. And it, it actually is a really nice improvement. Yeah. Okay. So in regards to the A2, that's, that's the majority of the changes there. Uh, the other thing we've got, uh, we have out is, we, we came out with our MDR 556. So a lot of you uh, have come to know the 762 variant. Well, this is our 556 variant. Basically the same platform. Obviously the only difference is it shoots 556. Uh, it's been shooting actually really, really, really nice. And uh, even though with the bullpup design, you've got a lot more of that uh, rifle mass in the butt end, uh, the 76 or the 556, you're actually shooting a heck of a lot more accurately than you are with that 762. All right, so what are we talking about for MSRP for some of these pieces? Uh, you're looking at $2,400 roughly for the uh, MDR556. For the A2, we actually, that's one of the other additions is, we actually dropped the price $700 from our A1. So you're looking at for, depending upon caliber and obviously barrel length with your A2, you're looking at about your $4,000, $4,500 range for your MSRP. All right, so how backwards compatible is the new A2 chassis? If I have an old uh, SRS, can I buy a new chassis and then put it in and use my old barrel, my old bolt? Or no? Absolutely. The only thing that is not backwards compatible with the A1 is the trigger and the handguard. Okay. So if you are an owner of an A1 and you've got a couple barrel, you know, caliber conversions and you buy the A2, okay. it'll work just fine. They're backwards compatible, same as the bolt. Uh, so I only need to buy the chassis. Correct. Do that. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Mike. I really appreciate it. Miles, our pleasure. Absolutely. Hope you have a good show. Thank you, sir. You as well.